Hi Leos, Trishna here. Welcome to your March 2019 reading. So what I'm feeling for you is leading into March, I feel like on the outside you're feeling good, you're feeling happy, positive, but on the inside I feel like you're a little bit sad or maybe a little bit worried. And I think that the reason why is because you're a little bit worried that somebody in your life is going to find out about something that maybe you said or something that you did. And whatever it is that you said or did isn't necessarily bad, but it would create problems if this person were to find out about it. And so you're a little bit worried, a little bit sad about it because you don't know what the repercussions are going to be like if they were to find out about whatever it is that you said or did. And I'm going to give you an example of a scenario that this could be. This isn't necessarily, this isn't necessarily your scenario, but it's like the closest thing that I can find as an example. So it's like whenever you get in a fight with somebody and then you go and vent to a friend and you don't really mean everything that you're saying. You're just trying to process what's going on with somebody who can give you some feedback. It's like, so, you know, and then once you've processed and you've worked things out with this person that you're having the situation with, you like forget about all those other feelings and thoughts and things that you said because now you two have an understanding and you just want to move forward. But it's like, it's like this happened, except that person found out about everything that you said about them when you're venting to somebody else. It's like that. So it's not like you did anything wrong or bad. You were just trying to express yourself to somebody and just get your thoughts out there so you could think and put things into a clear perspective. So it's not that you did anything wrong because this is like a trusted friend, but it would create problems for the relationship because that person would see like just all your thoughts, you know, versus the more clear, rational thoughts that you walked away from that processing conversation with. So I feel like that's like kind of a scenario where you, you did or said something that wasn't necessarily bad, but it could have repercussions if the person that you said them about finds out about it. And this person I feel like is very close to you, like most likely a romantic relationship doesn't have to be, but I feel like Whoever this is about is somebody who's very, very close to you, who is very, very important to you, that you love very much and consider very dear. Going into March, I feel like this person most likely is going to find out what it was that you said or did, but I feel like they're not going to care or they're not going to want to know the details. They're going to hear about it and be like, you know what, like, I don't care about that. That was a different time. We work things out. Like let's just move on and like let the past be the past and like let's just be together and be happy and just let's just not worry about it it's not important to me I care about the conversation we had not the conversation you had with somebody else or what you said to somebody else like I believe what we have is the truth and is real so I feel like you don't need to be worried I feel like this person is like loves you just as much as you love them and is just gonna be so like kind and loving about this whole situation and it's just gonna be like I just love you like let's just forget about that don't worry about it let's just move on like it was just something that you said out of anger to somebody else you know I let's just move on so I feel like I'm beating that down but I feel like that really needed to be <laughs> expressed going into April I do feel like you're gonna have like another issue with this person that you know you care about and they care about you because <clears throat> there are still underlying issues that need to be worked on but like you two throughout March are going to be healing together you guys are going to be not healing separately and working on yourself separately but like together bonding becoming stronger and healing as most likely a couple but whatever your relationship is so that's really important, the fact that you two can do that. But, and you know, and you will have other issues. Like there are underlying issues that still need to be worked out that are there that maybe haven't come to the surface yet. So this is going to be something that you are going to have a new issues come up. And I see one like maybe at the beginning of April or the end of March. But like your foundation <clears throat> that you're building is strong. And so each one becomes easier to overcome and maybe easier is the wrong word but it's like you two become a lot better at working things out every single time you need to work things out like you you get better at your 
disagreements and your conflicts, you get better at your resolutions. You get a lot better at coming up with resolutions, finding that that way to fit together and like be together and both be like insanely happy. So I feel like this is all very, very good. Like it's just all good. So this is um, like an emotional reading and it's about to get more emotional. Like I'm feeling a lot of emotions of, they're all really good. Like, like I was saying, it's all good. So what I'm feeling for, for you in terms of the challenge that you have this month is the challenge is going to be understanding you're going to get so much love from this person that it's going to be hard for you to understand how you could ever be this loved, like that you could ever be loved by anyone this much, even like it might even be a sense of like, how could anybody be loved this much? Like you've experienced love before, but not like this. And it's hard to compare, it's hard, so you've been loved before, and you've loved before, but it's hard to compare, and you know, it felt great in those times, but it's hard to compare how you felt then to how you feel now, because it was like a different time, and it's like, how do you compare loves, but something about this is just different, or more profound, or just bigger, there's something about it, and it's just you know love exists, but you didn't know it could exist to this capacity, to this level. You didn't know this could be real. You didn't know it could be real for you. And it's just going to be, I mean, this is a great struggle to have. It's like you're going to be struggling to understand that you can be loved this much. And it's going to feel amazing. And yeah, it's just going to feel really good. And the gift that you walk out of this with is you're going to experience a lot of emotions as a result of this. Like you are going to feel, like I'm feeling emotional for you, but you're going to feel emotional as the month goes on. You're going to feel this whole emotional thing that I'm talking about because it's just going to, I mean, it's like you've never been this loved before. Like, is this real? Like, wow, like who could ever love me this? You know, it's just like, it's just going to be so good <laughs> and you're gonna release a lot because we all are unconditionally loved and but we don't we don't experience it like we're not always paying attention to that because like unconditional love comes from the universe it comes from ourselves it yeah and but we're not always showing ourselves the unconditional love we can give ourselves and we're not always paying attention to the unconditional love that's coming from the universe we're paying attention to the people in our lives and how they treat us and people are unconditionally loved but they sometimes struggle to unconditionally love others so you know you just haven't experienced this before and every you know we all have like hurts and dings and scars from Somebody who was not being loving towards us because they were dealing with something and then their anger or their words or their actions affecting us because they did something and then that, you know, creating a lot of blocks within us that stay there for sometimes forever, like for an entire lifetime. And when you feel this love from somebody else like this, just so pure, so big, just su such kindness, it's like all those blocks start to release and that's where the emotions come out. It's you releasing all of those blocks that you've been holding on to from the past for so long that you have forgotten are there. And you just, when you release those blocks, you allow in so much more happiness. Like it, the blocks create space for more happiness to fill in and that is what's going to fill in. And so, mm, it's such a good month. <laughs> The guidance that I get for you for this month to make it the best possible month is as you experience this forgiveness, this healing, and this love from this other person, accept it. Accept it and just take it. Just take it because you have so much to give too. Like the amount of love that they can give you is the amount of love that you can give them back. You would not be a match to each other if you couldn't reciprocate 
the same levels. Now we all reciprocate in different ways and we do it in ways that match like how we function and also what the other person needs from us. Like that's what makes a good match, like the good compatibility. So you may show it in a different way, but like you have the exact same amount of love that you can give this person as they're giving to you. So accept the love, accept the forgiveness, accept the healing because you're going to be, and you probably are already giving them the exact same in return. And yeah, like, so you're not, you're not taking, you don't need to feel the blame. I mean, it's kind of hard because like, you kind of know what you said. So, I mean, condense that a little bit, like try to focus more on just the love that they're giving you and then understanding that you can give them the same in return and just focus on giving them the same in return and like your partner says just let that be what it was it's just a thing that was done in the past and what was said in the past and like isn't isn't important because again remember what you did or said wasn't necessarily like bad or wrong it was like it fits the situation so yeah, just accept the forgiveness, accept the love because you give all of that back and sometimes more even. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe and I will see you in my next video.